Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a makeup haul. I have a couple of hours before I need to go pick up my mom. I dropped her off at a store so she could do some last minute shopping. And I thought, why not sit and film for you guys? I have a few new drugstore goodies that I really want to show y'all and then I can get into reviewing them and playing with them. So without further ado, let's get into my haul. So the first thing I want to show you guys are two palettes that I picked up recently. The first one is the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. This came out a month or two, ago, well, a month ago, and uh, I didn't get it the first time it came out, but then I stocked and stocked and stocked, and I was able to grab it the second or third launch when it went on sale at Sephora.com. So if you watch my channel for a while, you know I'm not a huge fan of Natasha Denona eyeshadows, but of course I can never have too many warm palettes. And this one just was a little bit different enough to pique my interest. So of course I picked it up and I have been playing with it over the past couple of weeks. So I'm gonna continue to test this and review this for you guys. I know there's a ton of reviews up on this palette already, but you know what? If you guys are interested in my opinion, I would sure love to give it to you on this palette. So far, mm, I don't, I don't want to say I don't like love it, but I don't hate it either. Um, some of the shimmer shades I feel like could be more pigmented. I just expect more pigmentation out of them for a $129 palette, but maybe my expectations are too high. So I'm going to keep playing with this. I will come to you guys with a full review on this very soon. Next palette, I have already done like a swatch video. I was so excited when I got this. This is the Magic Palette by Juvia's Place. Of course, if you haven't seen my swatch video, I will uh, link it in the cards. I also did like a morning get ready with me. It was like a YouTube live, so the quality wasn't the greatest, but if you guys are interested in that, I will link it up as well. Um, I really love this palette. It's actually kind of made me forget about the Natasha Denona one, just because I feel like it has a nice combination of warm and cool tone shades and it's colorful but it's also really has like basic shades so this is like an all-in-one palette for me and the formula just keeps getting better and better with Juvia's Place so I'm really really impressed with that brand I actually just picked up the Zulu palette today so I'm really really excited for that coming um, to me I don't know when that'll ship and I also got the new Naked Heat palette, which I'm really excited for. I've seen some really beautiful looks on that palette. Again, you may be asking yourself, how many warm eyeshadow palettes does a girl need? And I think the answer really is, there's never enough. <laughs> so anyway, those are like my high-end stuff. A lot of the rest of this is drugstore. I picked up um, a bunch of things from Ulta.com. They just had a lot of the new makeup releases. Um, so I picked up this L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask. This is the Clear and Comfort 3 Pure Clays plus Seaweed. It's a blue mask and I have two of their masks that they came out with. They came out with three initially. There was a charcoal one, um, there's a green one and a red one. And I returned the charcoal one because I have the Super Mud by Glam Glow and I kept the other two. So I was really intrigued by this mask. I don't know, I just wanted to get my hands on it because it was new. And this is a pure clay mask. And I don't know what it claims to do, but I was just really excited mostly by the color. It smells really good, kind of like aqua-y. And I just got some on my hands, of course, because I am a messy human being. Oh my God, I'm making such a mess right now. So yeah, I really like these masks. They're usually around 11 or $12, so I don't feel like they're too expensive. Um, this says, over time, harsh cleaning can be drying and sensitizing leaving skin uncomfortable. As a result, skin needs cleaning that is effective yet gentle. Pure clay mask, clear and comfort, addresses your skin's concerns for balanced, comforted, and perfected skin. So I'm really, really excited to try this. Hopefully it'll be another good launch by L'Oreal. Otherwise, I will just take it back to Ulta. The next item are some samples. We don't care about those. I also did pick this up. I really wanted the dry bar. Um, is it like the mousse dry wet shampoo? I don't know, the moussey dry shampoos that came out. Um, I think uh, Dry Bar did it first, potentially. I can't remember, but I, I was placing an Ulta order and I wanted that, but it was sold out on Ulta, so I decided to try the dry conditioner. 
If you've tried the dry shampoo by Dry Bar, it's really good, but it's extremely powdery. So when you put it in your hair, it feels really gritty. So I thought maybe a dry conditioner might feel a little different. This is um, the dry shampoo by Dry Bar is my favorite dry shampoo. So I'm really curious to try the dry conditioner and see what that's about. I also picked up the Maybelline Master Bronze palette. I've been playing with this for a few days now and uh, yeah, it's it's decent. I'm not gonna say you need to run out and get this. I think I'll probably do like a get ready with me with some of these new products. Um, but I do have this and I'm testing it out. I think if you're darker than me, this is definitely not gonna work for you. I feel like it barely works on my skin. It's okay, it's not my favorite thing in the whole world, but you know, it's nice that the drugstore is coming out with different options. This is the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter, also by Maybelline. I was really excited for this. I don't really know why, because like, Lord knows I don't need any more highlighters, but I was just really excited about this. And of course, all the, you know, regular beauty gurus had a lot of really nice things to say about it. So we'll see if this is worth the hype. I don't want to swatch it right now, because I want to kind of save it for my get ready with me videos but um yeah you guys will get to see that on my channel hopefully really soon i wanted to pick up the mario badescu facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea i've heard really good things about this you guys know i love watching live loves her makeup and she recently purchased this as well and seems to really like it so i thought i would pick it up for myself and these are relatively inexpensive i think that was about seven dollars so i'm excited to have it Another thing I was so, so excited for is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. This is the shade. What shade is this? I kind of fucked up on the shade. Uh, this is Sand Beige. It looks very peachy. I don't think it'll be too light for me, but I'm just not sure if this is going to be perfect for my under eyes. I'm definitely going to try it out. I've heard mixed reviews on this, so I'm really interested. I love the foundation that from L'Oreal, the Pro Glow Foundation. So I'm really, really excited to try this and I'm so glad I got my hands on it. I haven't found it at any of the regular drugstores, so I just had to order it online. Next, I bought this for my hair just because it sounded so interesting. This is the L'Oreal Micro Exfoliating Scrub. And basically, it's like a scrub for your head. So it says, Micro Exfoliating Scrub with apricot seeds gently removes impurities, flakes, and build up from dirt and excess oil that causes hair to be weighed down. Gently massage to promote a healthy looking scalp. So yeah, this is really cool. I have a different, smells really good. I have a different hair mask from L'Oreal and I really like that. So I feel like this is gonna be really good as well. Next from the drugstore, I did pick up another Milani highlighter. This is the number three in Sun Glow. Um, this is another really, really good highlighter by them. I have the number one, I believe, and number four, and then I have three, and then I should probably try and find two somewhere, but this color is amazing, and all these highlighters are really amazing. They have a really nice consistency. They really show up on my skin and give me a really bam highlight, and they're about $10. The packaging is so pretty, and yeah, it's just gorgeous, and this color reminds me a lot of, um, champagne pop as well so it's a ten dollar dupe i would say for champagne pop and the consistency is really beautiful so if you're looking for a pop in drugstore highlight definitely check out that one and then i did pick up some drugstore mascaras i can't remember if i talked about this in my previous haul but i just wanted to show you guys i did get the voluminous lash paradise i really do think this is a good dupe for the Too face uh better than sex mascara if you're into that mascara um and of course the packaging looks just like it and then this Total Tease by CoverGirl is horrible. If you're interested in this mascara, I would say pass. It has a really weird brush. It's really hard to get your lashes on top. If anything, you can maybe use it for bottom lashes if you're really interested in trying it out. And then this is a new Maybelline mascara called Lash Sensational Curvitude. And I bought this because I'm in love with the Lash Sensational, the other mascaras. But this one is a really odd wand as well. It's like a half comb situation. So you can really like get it into your lashes, but and it's really nice for your bottom lashes as well. Um, it doesn't really do any lengthening or thickening though. I think it's just a nice way to separate your lashes. So if you have a really clumpy mascara, I think this one would pair really well with it because once you put on a really thick mascara, this will kind of help make your lashes like more separated, which I think 
is a nice feature to have. This was a free gift with my Mario Badescu spray. It's the Mario Badescu Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. So I'll have to try that out at some point. And then I also managed to pick up the Flower Beauty um, Face Sponge. I heard Nicole from Young Wildland Polish talk about this. So of course, when I saw it at my Walmart, I was like, well, why not? Who doesn't need another beauty sponge? So I'm so, so excited to try this because this is like $8. I really love the L'Oreal sponge. That is by far the most affordable beauty sponge I have found so far that works really well for me. I've basically decided not to buy any more beauty blenders ever again because the drugstore has really stepped up and produced some amazing alternates to the beauty blender. I'm actually considering doing a video on my favorite beauty sponges and just reviewing all my beauty sponges because I have quite a good collection now. I have a few different brands, a few different shapes. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely leave me a comment down below. Next, I picked up some eyeshadows from the drugstore. These are the Maybelline, what are they called? Uh, the City Mini Palettes. These are so cute. They remind me a lot of the Smashbox Cover Shot palettes. These are really tiny little palettes, but they have so many different shades. I have three of them here. I have Chilled Brunch Neutrals. I have Urban Jungle, which is like the greens, and then this one is called Rooftop Bronzers. I haven't played with all of these. I only played with the purple one, and I must say I wasn't really very impressed with this one, um, but I will do, again, either like a first impressions on the two I haven't tried or like a get ready with me showcasing these palettes. Um, but yeah, I didn't really like the purple one. I've heard a lot of people say the bronze one is really the most promising of the lot. So we'll see if uh, I feel the same way once I play with them. Next item I got is my last drugstore item. This is the Maybelline Curvitude Liner. And again, it has a really funky shape. It has a little curve in it. It says it's an ultra precise curved pen. And I believe this is a felt tip liquid liner. So I'm really, really interested in trying it. It just piqued my curiosity. I have found really good liquid liners at the drugstore. So usually i don't really buy high-end liquid liners i you most of you have seen me bitch about the kat von d tattoo liner it just has not worked for me you guys and i tried it so many different ways so i think that's about to head back to sephora here so anyway anyway moving on my last three items i want to show you guys are all from dose of colors they are now available for sale at alta so i decided i was going to do a first impressions video on these so i picked up Three products from them, of course, I would have loved to buy more, but I couldn't justify buying more from them without really trying the brand. I've never tried anything from them before. Actually, no, that's a lie. I have tried, um, I tried one of their, okay, so Dose of Colors was like super, super raved about a few years ago on YouTube, and then they came out with a holiday set for their liquid lipstick, so I bought that set, and I hated the set. So I don't know if the formula was just a little bit more cheaply made because it was a holiday set, but I literally gave that set away. It was so expensive. It was like $45 and I was in college at the time and I was like, I can't believe I spent like my hard earned money on the stupid set of liquid lipsticks from this brand and I can't return them and whatnot and the other. So I hated it. And then I decided I wasn't really gonna try Dose of Colors because I can't really return it or anything like that. So then when they came to Ulta, I was like, well, that's a game changer so i decided to pick up the marvelous Mo mobs palette and this is just five mauvey purpley shades and i've heard really really good things about this i really want the brown one as well but so i decided i would try this first before buying more um i'll buy the other one if i really like this palette but i decided to step outside of my comfort zone and get away from like all the browns and pick this like cool tone thing um just because it would be a little different and then I decided to try one of their Supreme Go highlighters. The packaging on these is adorable. And I haven't opened any of this because I just didn't know. So on here it says gold is the new black. So cute. And then this is what it looks like. I just thought this one was the most suitable for my skin tone. It definitely looks really dark and golden. Kind of looks like the cover of the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. So I'm not going to swatch this because I really want it to be a first impression, but it has a nice mirror and stuff like that. So let's see how it does. I need more highlighter, like I need a hole in my head. So yeah, anyway. And then I decided to try one of their liquid lipsticks again, and this is in the shade Mondays. 
I believe this is a newer shade from them, so I'm so, so excited. So I'm really excited for this shade. I think it's like a perfect nudie shade, so we'll try it all out in a first impressions video, and that will be coming to you guys soon. Like I said, I just have been on hold with life as my mom is getting ready to leave town. Um, she was here for two months, so I'm really proud of myself for keeping my channel going for as long as I did, but I just didn't have the time in the last couple of weeks to film. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. I'm out of things in the box. Okay guys, that is everything I've picked up recently. I just wanted to get on here and show you some of the new drugstore goodies I picked up and some of the new palettes I had picked up as well. If you have any questions or comments on the products I mentioned in this video, please go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I will link everything in the description box, so if you're interested in purchasing any of those, I will link them down below for you. Those are not affiliate links or anything, so I just wanna make it easier for you guys to shop. If you enjoyed this video, definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching guys and have a great rest of your day. Bye.